the name of a special North Dakota woman from the 1880s. In this week's Off the Beaten Path return trip, Cliff Naylor gives us a glimpse of her life. We'll have the update after this story from 1992. Medora uh, was well-educated, spoke, spoke seven languages, uh, was a, a, an attractive young woman. She's also best known for the town. Her husband, the Marquis de Morris, named after her. Uh, when they came to the North Dakota Badlands, uh, he built a fairly sizable house, which much later became known as the Chateau. The family knew it as their residence in the Dakotas, their residence in the Badlands, uh, their residence in Medora. Chris Dill is the museum director of the State Historical Society. He's done a lot of research on this woman's remarkable life. She traveled extensively. We have photographs of her uh, in apparently in her early 20s uh, in a Turkish outfits, uh, one shot in Cairo and printed at a studio there. Medora von Hoffman was born in Stapleton, New York in 1856. She married the Marquis in 1882 and moved to Dakota Territory to pursue his business interests. While she lived in the Badlands, Medora mastered the Western lifestyle. She was an avid hunter. In 1886, she took a group of 13 people on the train out to Montana to go hunting bear. Medora was also an accomplished artist, and 90 of her paintings are preserved in the archives of the State Historical Society. Some of them are of the chateau and of the town of Medora. Others are landscapes or pictures of flowers. Uh, they're all watercolors. I think they're very nicely done. When the Marquis died in North Africa in 1896, Medora and her three children spent most of the remainder of their lives at residences in Europe and Rhode Island. Medora died in 1921, and her family donated the chateau to North Dakota in 1936. The home was open to visitors in 1941. Today, the town that bears her first name and the world-famous badlands that she lived in are the number one tourist attraction in the state. I had a high school friend who worked yeah. at the Chateau. So interesting. I bet, yeah. Yes, full of That'd history. Yeah. Now, you know, you can still go see Medora's home. She lived in the Chateau in Medora from 1883 to 1886. The 26-room, two-story frame building is now a historic museum and contains many of Medora's original furnishings and personal effects. If you want a tour of the home this summer, you'll have to hurry because <laughs> summer is almost it's over. Tough. You can only visit it from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Tours are daily from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Mm -hmm. Worth the visit, and it's, though. It's not one tour, 8.30, ending at 5.30. It's, not it's that between long of a tour, that time. Right. You have yeah. to go sometime between those two times. That'd be a Thanks lot of history, though, to that. learn. Think yeah. what you could learn. That's like Imagine. a full work day. My wife would love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She loves museums. So Yes, it's a great place. Yes. Not too far away. <laughs>